Right, I'm going to show you how I make the, um, the wildflower windbreak. So I saw this design probably in the early 90s, so it's quite a long time ago, and there's a program called Wild Shots with Chris Packham. And he used this Perspex um, sheet just stuck together with um, gaffer tape and then placed it over the flowers and it created this, this windbreak where you can see through so you can get a photograph um, of the flowers and everything behind it. So. I thought I'd make my own just to show you how I did it. So to make the wind box, what I've done is I've ordered four sheets of Perspex. Um, so this is a two mil acrylic and it's 500 mil by 500 mil. So that gives me quite a large box size. So first of all, I just need to take off the protective sheets. Just put that down there. So what we have is some really clear perspex, so you can see through that. So I'll put up the blueprints of the design up now, so you can see roughly how I've designed this one. So what I need is four sheets of perspex, some big thick duct tape, and that's going to be roughly the, the length of each one of these perspex sheets. So to start off with, I'm going to take two of the sheets, place them on top of each other and just make sure that they're perfectly aligned. So with my first sheet, I'm going to put it down the side, so it's roughly in the centre of each one, just knocked it out. Then smooth it down, gently lift it up. And then push it back over so it's on both sides. Then I'm just going to clip off the excess bits of duct tape and just smooth those off. So what we have now is two sheets stuck together and if we open those out we have the back and the side of the windbreak. And you'll see down the centre there's a slight space between the two and that just helps it to fold over. So what I'm going to do now is add some more this duct tape over the center, line it up with the other one, just smooth that down and then clip off the excess again. So now that makes a bit more of a rigid structure. So we've got a nice clean corner there. So what we're gonna do now is the same for the other side. So what I'll do is I'll fold that in half. Take the other perspex sheet and I'll place that over the top. Make sure it's all centered up. And then this time, I'm gonna put the, the duct tape on the other side of the frame to the duct tape I've already added. So again, put that in the center. Take that down. Turn it over. Remember, just open that bit 
and we're sticking it to the inner sheet. And then just fold it over. And smooth it down. And just clip off the excess bits. So now we have the back and the two sides, so I'll just finish off this corner. Just tidy up that there and then clip off the excess tape. And then we've got three sheets together. So we can open those out and there's the sides of our box and the back. So to add the top onto here, what I'm gonna do is make it slightly different to the others. Um, I butted these up on top of each other. So when I put the tape on, um, it's essentially closed so it would fold up quite nicely. But because we're gonna have the top on, we're gonna need a slight gap on it. So it's actually gonna be stuck to this one and it's gonna go over two sheets but actually stuck to this. But they're just gonna be a little gap so it folds over so I can just easily fold it away and pack it away somewhere. So to do that, I'm just gonna line it up again so it makes that in the center. Take some more duct tape and put it over the top sheet. And then just open it out and make sure that it's going to be folded and joined to this back one. So what we have, it's stuck there. So we can now see a little gap along the edge of that one. So come to the other side, just make sure it's stuck down. You can now open up it completely and you've got this little gap here. So add some more tape to that section. So as you can see in the duct tape, you've got quite a thin um, gap between this side and that side, but along the top here, it's a bit of a thicker one. So what that will allow me to do is fold that over and then we can fold this one behind. So there you go. That's all there is to it. So the box is now being put together. So we're gonna have one side and the other side. And then this is the top. So what we're gonna be doing is placing this over the wildflowers and looking through there. So you'll be photographing through there so you've got no perspex at all. And because you'll be using a small depth of field, um, you won't see the 
plastic at the background so that should be really blurred and you should see all the things behind it such as the grasses the, the flowers and things like that but before we finish what i'm going to do is tidy up the edges because these are quite sharp and i got this cut um, in the factory because it's quite difficult to cut perspex on your own so i'm just going to tidy that up and put a few sheets of the duct tape around each corner so no my luck i'm going to cut myself so that'll make it a little bit safer so i'll just do that now so in total, I've used 16 strips of duct tape. And I'll just tidy the bits up now. So any exposed edge, I'm going to put some of the duct tape on. that off to make sure there's no air gaps in there and then just trim off the excess tape so what I'm going to do now is just tape up all the other sides which don't have any tape on them already Okay, so there we have a wildflower windbreak. So all we need to do is just open it out, place it over the flowers, and have the front open. If you do want to photograph um, a big mass of flowers from the top, then all you need to do is put that down and you can photograph it from above. So this windbreak is a very simple way of stopping the wind from blowing your flowers around. So just go through the materials again. We've got four sheets, one, two, three, four, of two millimeter um, perspex. And this is 500 mil by 500 mil, so it gives us a nice square. You can design it any shape you want. Um, these are better for spring flowers because summer flowers tend to be a lot taller. But due to the cost of making these, um, I only generally use them for spring flowers. And then we've just got some weatherproof duct tape around the sides, and that's just cut into 16 pieces the same length as this, so we can just stick them on. And it doesn't matter too much about the accuracy of if you overlap, it's got a few messy bits on here. So when you're photographing through, you'll just see the sides. The sides and the top will let in the light, and the back will be just so you can see straight through, and it will all be out of focus so you won't see any of the actual box itself. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you want to ask any questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my very best to answer those. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.